Hi guys, I have a new pick a card reading for you. Um, and in here, we're gonna find out how, um, what do they think of you. You know, the person uh, stuck in your mind as you watch this video. How are, how are they feeling and what are they thinking right now? about you of course um you can jump straight to your choice pile or choice deck by clicking the timestamp provided in the description box below you can choose either deck number one or pile number one or uh deck number two okay um you don't have to bore yourself watching me um building the piles or building the decks guys but before uh, uh, choosing of course you have to ask the cards nicely what do they think of me you yeah, know before uh clicking that timestamp. okay um again we're gonna find out here what are what are they thinking and um how are they feeling about you this is a general reading everyone so it won't resonate with each and every one of you but if you want to learn more you can book a private reading with me all you have to do is um follow my instagram account the link to my profile is in the description box below send me a direct message and um, when i have free time i will book you a private reading also keep in mind guys that in here you can reverse switch and or flip roles and cards are not gender specific again we're gonna find out here what are they thinking what what do they think of you okay and of course we're gonna touch on how they how they are feeling right now So, um, this is deck number one or pile number one, and um, this is deck number two or pile number two. Hi guys, for those of you who have chosen deck number one or pile number one, this spread is for you and you're going to find out what do they think of you. And uh, maybe um, we're going to know how are they feeling right now. Let's see, you have the Ten of Cups, um, the Queen of Cups. The Six of Wands, the Death card, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Okay, where do I begin? Um, let's start with the Death card because I feel like this is, uh, this is uh, significant. Um, in in um, cases for uh, some of you, if not most of you. Okay. Um, I feel like your person thinks that um you're having major changes right now so maybe they they are no noticing even the small um changes in your actions or in how you you know uh respond to things your words um uh in the trade realm uh or online or in social media so they notice that um how you change how you've changed um because the death card is major metamorphosis and i believe based on the spread that you have in here that you're changing for the better maybe you know more now um you you have uh you have applied all the you know um all the learnings um you, maybe for some of you um you had uh, some major, major um, character development. That is possible, guys. And that is really good. You know, you're changing for the better. And your person notices that. And they think about that, okay? I'm also seeing in here that um, for some of you, your person feel like um, you are more focused on uh, your personal growth. And um, you are becoming too independent. Uh, maybe um, you don't post that much on social media or you speak less. And um, you put most of your energies and your time onto things that uh, make you money. <laughs> okay. 
okay um make your bank account much fatter with the ten of pentacles this is financial stability guys so i believe that for some if not most of you your focus right now is financial stability and you know they notice that they notice that clearly they also feel like you are um dealing with a lot of um things right now especially people so maybe uh some of them feel jealous uh that you are your focus is um divided right now divided on uh, many people it doesn't have to be romantic guys but it could be okay you know just apply what resonates based on your current situation but again i'm seeing in here that they are noticing how you've changed and um apart from focusing on your career or your um side hustles that really make you a lot of cash you also give time onto many people uh maybe they see you talking to a lot of people you know who they really know they don't know um uh they don't know they have no idea who these people are okay um you know um this person still think about you because you give them genuine happiness in in which form i'm not sure we're gonna find out when we reveal the second spread for you but let's just say right now um that maybe um you know you give them that happiness because uh you provide or um share this energy which is very positive you know very very genuine okay they feel that they feel your sincerity they feel they feel your genuine um care for them maybe okay and i'm gonna combine the energies of the queen of cups and the ten of cups so i feel like they know they know that you are a person who is capable of giving unconditional love to other people maybe they know about um your past relationships um how you've dealt with them so um they have an idea already um from the start that um this tech number one person really knows how to take care of people and you know when when you give them validation um you give them uh that um butterflies in their stomach and that is really genuine guys i'm seeing sincerity in here um in um in how they feel about you because you or they have the ten of cups they also feel like um you've been getting a lot of wins lately uh, maybe in your career situation or in life in general so they know that you're winning your game you are a winner um you celebrate a lot of um achievements in life doesn't have to be big it could be small ways small things even uh, on how you maybe take care of yourself um love yourself loving yourself you know they feel like um they feel like you're giving too much um too much love and uh for yourself and for your uh for your personal growth and they see that as something that is um really an achievement uh with a six of wands and i feel like they admire you for that for that um mindset that you have uh in things and um how you deal how you've dealt and how you deal with situations that you have right now okay let's look at your remaining cards like number one people you have the eight of cups the chariot card the page of pentacles the four of cups the four of wands and the king of swords um they think about you a lot guys um ladies and gentlemen uh and in the in betweens okay um they think about you a lot um they feel like um you're doing a lot of great things and they see a lot of progress in you uh, with the chariot and the king of swords it's also safe to say that they stalk you on social media yeah that is possible with the king of swords so maybe be very careful with um what you post on social media instagram facebook twitter snapchat or what have you whatever social media that you use be very careful because they check up on that you know um they look at you your profile and um yeah for, for instance maybe you post out a picture and they look at that whether they like it or not whether they react on it or not they they appreciate that and um yeah either way you know they stalk you and um they uh, you know when uh, when they stalk you they realize that you've been gaining a lot um a lot of progress 
you're progressing with the chariot and you're progressing fast they know that they think about it um you're also making yourself more valuable quote unquote with the page of pentacles so right now they acknowledge your value your worth um the things that you can offer to the table or to a relationship in the future okay and um right now they feel like you're gaining more power more influence not just to them with them but also to other people maybe they notice how other people um look up to you or appreciate you as well or um maybe they notice how people admire you with things that you do you know maybe for some of you i feel like uh they're not they're still not uh, um telling you or um talking to you about how they feel right now about you and the connection that you have with them because they they are scared of rejection they know that you have the the, the tendency you know you have that gut you have that um courage to reject people including them with the four of cups so that is very very interesting and um you know combining four of cups and eight of cups um they're confused right now um they are they have no idea how they're gonna deal with you uh and the situation or the connection that um they have with you okay but here's the interesting thing uh that i need to point that i need to point out is they know that you are um you are a sanctuary you are a person who could provide stability um balance and um harmony in a relationship so maybe it's possible it's really really possible that for some of you this person feel like and they think about this a lot um you have uh you have all the qualities um or some of the qualities that they've been looking for in a romantic connection okay uh if this is a romantic connection that you're dealing with okay i really hope that helped and um resonated deck number one people be sure to hit that like button comment or share the video and uh, if you like how i read cards and you're new here be sure to subscribe you can also book a private reading with me all you have to do is um follow my instagram account the link to my profile is in the description box below shoot me the direct message and when i have free time i will book you a private reading good luck deck number one people trust the process and um see you in my next video bye Hi guys, if you've chosen deck number two, this spread is for you. And here we're gonna find out what do they uh, what are what do they think of you? What are they thinking and feeling right now? Okay, let's see your cards. You have the six of swords, the Empress card, um, the ace of wands, the nine of pentacles, the five of wands, and the judgment. Where do I begin? This is an interesting mix, guys. Um, I feel like um, they are they are in a how do I say this? Very still, very slow moving face when it comes to you. They're they're scared of rushing things, okay? Um, and I feel like it's about the five of wands and the judgment. You are in a connection that is known by many people talk about the connection that you have with this person okay maybe you're popular or they are popular but i'm seeing in here that a lot of people talk about you and this person behind your back i'm not sure though if they um they they talk negative or positive okay either way they talk about you and they talk about them okay they have this all the, all this um gossips quote unquote look at tech number two person maybe they have a relationship or what have you you know those kinds of um talk those kinds of um gossips behind your back i feel like you're aware of it i'm having this feeling that you are aware of this okay with the empress card in here i'm seeing a strong intuition coming from you 
Um, you also have the judgment, so that intensifies everything. It's like putting you and this person and the connection that you have um, on a stage. And um, the spotlight is on both of you, especially on you guys. So this is very interesting. With the Ace of Wands, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like the person uh, you're thinking about right now, they see you as someone who is really very attractive, physically attractive, okay? Uh, I'm not joking, guys. I'm not joking in here when I say this. Um, they are really sexually attractive. Um, you know, they think about you a lot. And when they think about you a lot before they go to bed, you know what, what would happen. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, you know, they feel like you are getting um, a lot of um, wins right now when it comes to your personal growth and personal development. So it's possible that um, they saw how you've struggled in the past, okay? Your, your past struggles, your past um, pain doesn't have to be involving them, but it could be, okay? You have the Six of Swords in here or they have the Six of Swords. This is moving toward calmer water. And they see you as someone who is about to reach that point of uh, a calmer uh, environment and they admire you for that okay they feel like you are a strong independent independent woman or a man and um you know they think about how you have managed to um overcome all these challenges that um, you've experienced in the past that is really amazing guys and they also feel like and they think about this a lot um that you are focusing more on your career your finances with the nine of pentacles and and they uh, you know they notice um and they know they, they are aware of all your ambitions and all your goals in life maybe you post them on social media twitter instagram or facebook they know about that and they, um, you know, as you work on this uh, job or side hustle that you have and you do, um, you know, they watch you from afar. They really watch you from afar. And um, again, as they watch you do all these things, um, they feel more feelings. They, they absorb more energies from you. Which is really very positive, guys. Um, very, very positive energies. So, this person has become uh, more attracted to you. That is really possible if you're still not in a relationship with this person. Especially if this is a romantic connection that you're dealing with. Let's see your remaining cards, deck number two people. You have the Page of Wands, the Lover's card, the Six of Pentacles, the Moon card, the Seven of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Let's start with the Nine of Cups. Because, you know, this is wish fulfillment in the realm of love. So it means it's possible that for some, if not most of you, they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their um, wish come true. Maybe they see you as someone who is hard to find. A very rare individual who could deliver a lot of great things in a relationship. Apart from this nine of cups, you you or they have the lovers. This is a soulmate twin flame twin flame type of energy, guys. Oh, so it's really possible that this person is deeply, deeply connected with you energetically, and um, you know, on top of that, they are uh, physically attracted to you. So <laughs> this is a really strong connection uh, that you have with this person. You know, they think about this, um, and I feel like for some of you, uh, they acknowledge that you and them being in uh in a soulmate type con of connection but of course before we uh we continue guys we have two types of soulmates one is to teach us a lesson and they're gonna leave permanently once once um we've learned that lesson the other one would stay by our side until we die or until they die okay either way um they they acknowledge this they know this they feel this that uh they are in a in a soulmate type connection with you they really want to offer a lot um of time energy effort to you but um they're scared they're very very scared um they have the moon card in here which means um they are trying their very best not to get caught or not to reveal their true intentions. Perhaps the moon card is connected with the seven of cups because they feel like you have a lot of options. That is possible for some of you, if not most of you. Maybe deck number two person, you are a 
highly attractive individual. You have a lot of suitors or people love you and they know that. So that that is scary on their part, you know, to gamble on this. Um, they're scared that you, you, you may reject them, um, might reject them when they offer you love. But again, they, they feel a lot of love in here. And you know, I feel like um, they, they are trying their very best to find a replacement. They're, they're looking for a replacement, someone who would replace your position in their life. But they are struggling and um, most of the time they fail with the page of wands in here. And you know, um, in every failed um, attempts um, in the past and um, recently or as of late, uh, in every attempts to replace you, they add uh, more feelings for you. Did you get that? Um, the feelings that they have for you intensify whenever they they got rejected or maybe they whenever they they fail in replacing you and you know um all those things that happened in the past as they look for a replacement they realized how valuable you are how important you are to them okay and that is really very interesting and that's very cheesy um <laughs> That's how I see the cards. That's how I feel the cards that you have right now. I really hope that helped and resonated deck number two. People, be sure to hit that like button, comment, or share the video. And um, if you like how I read cards and you're new here, be sure to subscribe. You can also book a private reading with me. All you have to do is follow my Instagram account. The link to my profile is in the description box below. Shoot me, send me that direct message. And when I have free time, I will book you a private reading, okay? Um, good luck, tech number two people. Trust the process. And I hope to see you in my next reading. Bye!